Welcome to our lesson number two. I am Miss Mariana and I'm going to work with you today, okay? First, last class with Miss Jessica, you were studying new words, new vocabulary. About what? Do you remember the vocabulary, the vocabulary was about school? No. Was about house, colors? No. Was technological devices or technological gadgets? Yes or no? Yes. So, first, we are going to start listening and repeating the types of technological gadgets, okay? So, here we go. Pay attention. Calculator. Now you. Calculator. Very good. Next. Tablet. You. Tablet. Perfect. MP3 player. Now you, MP3 player. Headphones. Now you, headphones. Very good. Video games console. Now you, video games console. Perfect. Webcam. Now you, webcam. Excellent. Stopwatch. Now you. Stopwatch. Very good. Pen drive. Now you. Pen drive. Perfect. Sat nav. Now you. Sat nav. Very good. Charger. Now you. Charger. Very good. Perfect. Very good pronunciation. Okay, today we are going to work on a little listening and reading activity, okay? But first, to know what is the text going to be about, let's watch the following video, okay? Here we go. Oh, this is a kitty, yes or no? He's playing, let's see. Here we go. Who invented tablets? Our video today is going to be about tablets. Perfect. That's the class today. So let's see. Apple currently dominates the tablet market. For every 100 tablets sold, 27 of them are iPads. But Apple didn't invent the tablet, or did it? So credit for coining the term tablet goes to Moses, who ascended Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments. Wait, we're talking about tablet computers. Never mind, let me go back. At least a little credit goes to Sir Arthur Charles Clark. He's the guy who wrote the book that became Stanley Kubrick's film, 2001, A Space Odyssey. And in chapter nine of his book, he described something called a newspad that got electronic updates from the world's newspapers every hour. It sounds a lot like a tablet, doesn't it? The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. But let's get real. Several companies in the 1990s and early 2000s experimented with rudimentary tablets, including Microsoft, Atari, and even Apple itself with the ill-fated Newton. And some people might even say that Palm Pilots are tablets. But those people are wrong. The problem with early attempts at tablets is that the technology just wasn't ready yet. Uh, what we know is a tablet now needs two things, a really good touchscreen and very tiny, powerful components to fit between your hands and the screen and power the whole thing. And what was the first company to come to market with a device that had both? Apple with the iPad in 2010. This is what it looks like? Was the idea really original? No. But did Apple do it better than everybody else did to that point? Yeah, totally. And that's what Apple's really good at, finding some idea that's floating around there and packaging in a way that makes it a huge consumer hit and selling millions of them. That's why it has enough money to buy every major sports team in the U.S. The tablet market isn't doing so hot lately, but Apple's not giving up on it yet. It just introduced the iPad Pro. It's a 12.9-inch device. It's huge. It's meant for graphic artists and illustrators and designers. And it kind of resembles a laptop, especially given that it's got this keyboard case uh, and it's a pretty powerful machine. So we're getting to this point where tablets look like laptops and laptops look like tablets. And the future of mobile computing is looking like a pretty interesting place.
Okay, very good. So, who invented the tablets? Hmm? It's not very clear, isn't it? But we know that some writers, yes, and movie makers thought on the idea that some machines, intelligent machines, could help us to make our lives much easier, yes, and better also. Okay, mm, I know that some of you um, at home, some of you uh, have got tablets, yes, or laptops, okay? But do you know some famous brands? Okay, let's see which famous brands we have. <clears throat> famous tablet brands. Here we have, for example, Blackberry, Titan, Acer, Asus, Sony, Apple, Samsung, HP, Toshiba, Dell, Lenovo. Yes. Have you got any of these? Do you have any? I haven't got any, but maybe you have got. Yes? Okay. So let's continue. Let's move on. Okay. So please, now, open your student's book, page number five. Okay. Let's see. This is page number five. Here we have our friend from unit one, Rosa. Yes, she says, hi guys, look at this advertisement. What's the meaning of advertisement? In Spanish, we call advertisement publicidad, okay? Look at this advertisement for a new tablet. It does almost everything. I think it looks great. What's your opinion? That's what, that's what Rosa says, okay? So now we are going to listen and follow a reading about the FabTab, this uh, tablet, okay? Are you ready? Yes? So here we go. The FabTab. It's the fabulous tablet. It's ideal for home and school. With a fab tab, you don't need a laptop or a computer. A fab tab is small and light. You can carry it in your school bag. A fab tab helps you learn fast. It's easy to use. It's lots of fun. And guess what? If you drop it by accident, it doesn't break. A. The camera takes great photos. B. The calculator helps you do maths. C. The sat-nav helps you learn geography. D. The headphones help you concentrate. E. You can use the stopwatch to time your homework. F. You can use the MP3 player to listen to podcasts in English. G. You can use the webcam to meet children in other countries. I always have my fab tab with me. It's brilliant. I never go to school without my fab tab. It's amazing. Get a fab tab today. Okay, very good. So that's the advertisement about the fab tab. A fabulous tablet. Yes or no? Okay, in this tablet, we have got many other electronic gadgets. For example, which are software, by the way, software in the tablet. Which uh, other technological gadgets we find? We have got camera, we have got calculator, we have got set nav, we also have got headphones, we also have got stopwatch, we have got MP3 player, and we have got the webcam. Each technological software for this device um, help, helps us to make our life uh, easier, yes, and funnier too. 
So, let's continue. <clears throat> answer the questions. You can answer in your copybook or here next to the question, okay? Says, number one, <clears throat> what is the fab tab ideal for? Number two, where can you carry the fab tab? Three, what happens if you drop the fab tab? Four, what do the headphones help you do? And five, what can you use the MP3 player to do? Okay, so now you have to stop the video to answer these questions. And we are going to check your answers in the connection session. Okay, cuando nos reunamos online, vamos a revisar tus respuestas. Okay, so start working now or you can do it later. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. So now, let's open your activity book, page number five, okay? Page number five. Activity four, as you know, to work on your activity book, you can help yourself by using your student's book on page five. Let's see, read and circle. Here we have number one ready, which is the fact tab is big, or small, so here we have small circled, yes? Number two, the fat tab is light or heavy? Number three, the fat tab is difficult or easy to use? And number four, the fat tab is fun or boring? So, you have to circle the answer you choose according to this text yeah let's continue activity five here you can also help yourself by using your student's book on page five okay you have to complete the text or the descriptions about the softwares in the tablet for example here we have a line pointing to the camera, yes? So, the camera takes great photos, okay? So let's see number two. You can use the space to time your homework. And where is the line? Oh, this. So what's the name of this technological gadget to write here? Number three, the helps you do math. Let's see the line here. What's the name of this? And you have to write the name here. Number four, you can use the to meet children in other countries. Let's see the line here. And you have to write the name here in the line. Number five, the helps you learn geography. Let's see the line, oh, it's here. So what's the name? Here. Number six, the help you concentrate. Where is the line? It's pointing here. So what's the name of this gadget? And we write it down here. And the last one, number seven, you can use the, let's see the line here. What's the name of this? And you have to write it here to listen to podcasts in English, okay? So, when you start working, you can put pause on the video, and then you can continue. The last activity, okay? For this activity, you have to do it now, okay? Do a watching the video, because it's a listening. And to complete this, you are going to listen to each kid saying their own opinions about the fab tab, okay? So, are you ready to start the listening? Yes, very good, that's the attitude. So, here we go. What do you think about the fab tab, Steve? I think the fab tab is great. I want to use a fab tab to do projects. 
You see? This is ready. That was number one, the example. Let's see number two, three, and four. What about you, Sita? I think the Fab Tab is brilliant. I want to use a Fab Tab to do maths. And you, Duncan? I think the Fab Tab is amazing. I want to use a Fab Tab to take photos. What about you, Joseph? I think the Fab Tab is useful. I want to use a Fab Tab to time my homework. Okay, so if you need to listen to again, si lo necesitas escuchar nuevamente, retrocede unos segundos el video para escuchar el audio nuevamente. The last part, and you, what are, what's your opinion? I think, here is the name of the tablet, I want to, yes, your opinion and why or what are you going to use the Fab Tab for, okay? So, you have to do these activities and we are going to check on online session, okay, next week, okay? So, before we go, let's go back to your student's book. Here, activity six, playing the chain game, okay? Obviously, we cannot doing, uh, do this by now, but you have to prepare this for our online session. It means we are going to do this activity online all together, uh, playing the chain game. We are going to play, for example, a fab tab is small. Then an, um, another friend is going to say a fab tab is small and it's easy to use. Then I can say a fab tab is small and it's easy to use and is, is light. Okay, and go on. Okay, um, to finish, internet tracks. You are going to find out one difference between a tablet and a laptop and you have to write down on our Google Classroom um, group on a forum, okay? So, you have to complete these tasks by your own because we're going to check on our online session next class, next week, sorry, okay? And um, that's it. So, goodbye, thanks for your attention, and take care, all of you. Bye-bye.